my tips. Welcome to another Tech My Tips video. In this video, we're going to be talking about another application that is not an R, but it's very useful. And uh, in the previous one, we set up uh, Calibre. So on this one, we're going to be setting up Calibre Web. So what do I use Calibre Web for? It's, I use it mainly to read the books when I'm in front of my computer, where, when, I, when I don't have my Kindle or things like that. If I want to read in the computer, it's a lot better to read with Calibre Web. You can still do things there that are useful, like sending the book directly from there to your Kindle device, for example. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the main use that I, I have for it. And I recommend you to use it if you like reading from your computer. And uh, yes, remember, uh, if you like the content, like and subscribe. And I hope you like it. See you on the next one and uh, let's get to it. Welcome, welcome to another video. On today's video, we're talking about Calibre Web. Calibre Web is um, another application that we can use to connect to Calibre. And we can use it, especially I use it mostly for reading when I'm reading in my computer. Uh, but it, it has a lot of uh, good things you can use it for. It's a web app that uh, offers a very clean interface for browsing, reading and downloading uh, books uh, by connecting to the Calibre database and uh, yeah it's pretty straightforward it has a lot of contributors it's a good application you can find it on github at github.com slash jane czku slash Calibre dash web and uh, it's mainly a python application with a little bit of javascript and html in there and uh, it's pretty good it's pretty nice looking it's pretty useful so we're gonna uh, install it because I, I honestly, like I said, find it very useful to read when I'm in the computer and I wanna read something. Um, so yeah, let's go and uh, work with this. Let's go into our NAS. We have Calibre right now. So we're gonna look for Calibre web now. Um, so we search for Calibre and we have Linux server here. We select that by double clicking and we download uh, the latest version whenever it gives us the options. So we select it. Now it should download. Uh, it's a pretty thick image. If I'm not mistaken, it's uh, about like 500 or 600 megs. So let's give it some time to download and we'll be back when it's done. All right, it looks like it has downloaded. So let's clear this out. And we have Calibre Web, which is 677 megabytes right now, but that's good. It's pretty useful. So let's double click it. We go here and click next and let's rename this Calibre Web. And enable resource limitation and auto restart. And then let's go into the advanced settings. Let's make sure that we need the time zone and we also need the process user ID and the process group ID. So let's add three new variables. And those are the usual values. We click save and then we're going to go next. And it says it's listening on port 8083, which is correct. But we want to expose port 8091, I think is the next one that we have available because we used 8089 and 8090. That's correct. So it should be 8091. So we go next here. And then we're going to add the location for our config. We do not have one yet, so we create a new one for Calibre Web. And we select that. And additionally, we're going to map the location of our books, like the final destination from Calibre here. So um, we put that in there. So this should be mapped to the slash config and this to slash books. and we continue then next we validate the information we leave that checked and click done and that should create our container in here we'll see it come up we select it we click details and we monitor the logs all right let's keep refreshing this to make sure that this is actually working
Okay, we're not seeing any updates. There we go, done. Let's see if we can access it through our NAS IP port 8091, and that is correct. Now we have the Calibre web user interface, and we're ready to start configuring our application. Okay, this is prompting us for a username and password, but that is already defined by Linux server in their container. So let's go into the container page and look for the details. So we go into Calibre Web and here where we say, where it says application setup, it says the default admin login is this one, admin and admin123. So let's use that. Let's put admin and admin123 and login. And it is loading our Calibre um, application. Now we're logged in as the administrator, but we have to make some changes here. So um, first of all, let's go up. And here it says, where's our Calibre database, right? So we need to specify where our Calibre database is. Now the answer to this question is something we can validate here in our NAS rapidly. We can go here open file station and we go into media and books to validate and we can see that there's a database here from Calibre. So this is the location of our Calibre database which is our final destination of our books. So that's uh, media books and we already mapped that in the container to a folder. So if we go here and we check we mapped books to media books. So that's what we're going to use here as the Calibre database. We go here and then we go back up all the way to books and here's our database so we select that and we say save so now the database settings have been updated and we can now go into up here where it says admin let's go here real quick and we can change our admin account so let's do something like this calibre web calibre web Okay, it requires um, something more special. So let's say Calibre-Web1. Oh, I need an uppercase. Okay, Calibre-Web1. Okay. So, is there any way I can write this? So it was Calibre-Web1. And that satisfies all the conditions. So, then the email that we're going to use to send the the ebooks to our kindle we can put it here so it will be like my handle at kindle.com and you specify your language and you specify your the language of the books and all that stuff there's nothing really to change here so i'm just going to click save and now our user admin has been updated so we can go into the rest of the uh, configurations that we might need. Let's go in here first. Okay, let's continue with the configurations. We can go back up here where it says admin. And now we have more things that we can configure. We have our user, which is Calibre Web, and we can set up our email server settings. So that's so that we can send our books directly from Calibre Web to our Kindle, for example. So if we go and click here where it says edit email server settings, then we can just for example, use a Gmail account or a standard email account, depending on your provider, that's what you would pick. And then you fill out your information here. So let me see if I can find the information for um, like Outlook. I think it was port 587. We can probably get that information from our Calibre uh, application because that was already there. Okay, so the configuration should be something like this, SMTP mail outlook.com, port 587 using SSL, and then here we would put our username and password uh, to log in, and then here you can say um, that the email is going to come with the header that says this is coming from Calibre Web, and then it will be, this will most likely be your account information because it won't let you change it, so you just put your account information here. And uh, yeah, then you just uh, can save it and that'll work as your uh, email server to send your books directly to your Kindle. 
and yes now that I have saved it it shows up in here and there's other stuff here that I usually never touch which is uh, to edit the Calibre database configuration basic configuration and UI configuration I just honestly leave it like it is and the schedule tasks are here already configured nothing to do there and uh, yeah on this area there's really nothing to do and that is it that's uh, basically all you need to set up in uh, Calibre web whenever you add books it, they will automatically come up in here and you can read them directly here on uh, your web interface in your computer this video was short and sweet I hope you liked it uh, remember Feel free to write uh, comments in the section below. Let me know if you would like to see a specific content in the channel. Uh, like and subscribe. That'll be very helpful. And if you want to donate, since I don't monetize this channel, the links are in the description below. We'll see you then on the next video, which is going to be how we actually set up Redar to use Calibre and get everything working properly. See you on the next one.